Wow, hallelujah. God bless you guys. Yes, hallelujah. Um, yeah, so this is um, Dotimi uh, Ekbusen. I wish I might have tagged you on that video, but uh, I'll tag you now anyway. So I'm just trying to bring someone on. So this is Dotimi Ekbusen here. And this is my brother Chris McKenzie. Did I tag you? So, um, yeah, we just want to give a brief mission update and uh, I'll try and see if I can get a friend of mine onto this. Let's see. I'm not sure if I can get David on this thing. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's been shared until I'm not sure if I can get David on this thing. Okay, he's not on yet, that's why. Okay, so yeah, so just want to give a brief missions update to our trip to Kenya. Um, so myself and Chris, hallelujah, we're Yay. going. <laughs> hallelujah. So we were going to Kenya, it's going to be amazing. And I uh, just wanted to share that with you guys. And also, um, this weekend we've been in the, the Revive Spotlight. Revival, yeah. Oh my gosh, it's yes. been amazing. It's been amazing, like, yes. Wow. Um, so what's Revi been? Revival has started within Scotland, I mean, so just felt like that, that presence of God here and it's just like anointed Scotland, it's, I had a vision of the, the Lord's open hand over Scotland and just pouring out the, the glory of God, just that gold just being poured out upon Scotland, so I'm just, yeah, I believe there's just all this confirmation now that things are in motion, Come things on. are in motion, Come just on. people need stirred up, we just... Oh, we just we just cry out for that revival fire. We just uh, we want more, Lord. Come on, stir up, Lord. Come on, stir it up, Lord. So we're so excited, and um, we've got our visas for Kenya. Yeah, yeah, visas are all through. So visas so. are in place now. Um, we've done everything we need to do naturally to get there, and uh, we're just trusting God for for um, for what He's gonna do. So what, yes. what? So tell me, this will be your first. This is my first time to Kenya as well. So this will yeah. be your first time as well. First, first time in Africa. <laughs> first time in Africa. First time in Africa. <laughs> so I, I mean, I'm wow. I'm just. I'm, I'm going to be blown away Amen. by what by what the Lord is going to oh. do. Uh, I believe there's going to be a, 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 just an outpouring of just God's love and mercy Amen. and grace. I mean. I believe that Daniel Kalenda, he was there like just last week last or week, two, yeah. Weeks, yeah. two weeks ago, yeah. So he's just opened the doors. He's just opened the doors for us to be able to come in and it should be just a breeze just for, for the Lord working through and there'll be Amen. Uh, there'll be huge signs, wonders, miracles, uh, even when I looked at the, the salvations, the, the, the 210,000 salvations or something, was, wow, that's a lot. And it's like, Wow, is there any more people? Is there any more people, is, to, is there be any more people to be saved? <laughs> <laughs> yes, there is. Hallelujah to Come God. On. So, Come on. Yeah. 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 Amazing. So, so, so I'm, I'm excited for what the Lord will do. Um, I'm trying to get my brother on here, Pastor David Go on. He's going to be going with us uh, to Kenya as well. Uh, but I'll still try and see if I can get him on. But I just wanted to share our heart and uh, what we feel like the Lord is saying to us. Um, because I'm a revivalist, I, I, I believe in revival, I believe that the church needs to be awakened and uh, we need to step yeah, out of the, of, the, of the building, we need to go and win the lost and um, whatever that looks like, it might be just going out to the street corner to preach, it might be just you know yeah. going to the local shopping mall, it might be going out to yeah. Kenya <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just, just, to, just down the road, just down just the road, different. whatever whatever it looks yeah. like, it might be just going to work and just you know, sharing a leaflet with yeah. someone, whatever it looks like but yeah. I just feel like you know we need to take the gospel out of the streets, yeah. out in the marketplace, yeah. out where the people are, out where the sinners are. You know, the Bible yeah. says, you know, God has called us to go out into the world yes. and make disciples of the nations. Yes. And it says, go, you know, make disciples, you know. Yes. So that's that's part of our heart, it's part of the Great Commission, yes. um, to go out and win the lost. So yes. we're trusting God for a mighty outpouring. Yes. And okay. one thing I've noticed with God, and this is kind of I share this all the time and I share my testimony of how I started seeing miracles and healings happen. When I did my first event, my first ever healing event in Aberdeen like a few years ago, you know, the night before the event, I was shaking in my boots. <laughs> <laughs> you, you had preparation for that then. I never had no preparation for what happened in Aberdeen. Yeah, what happened in January for you? Well, yeah, for me. So, uh, the Lord gave me a dream. I didn't believe it was for right here, right now, but it was basically people being healed, and I was like, yeah, that's cool, like, I, I resubmitted my life to the Lord again, say, hey, take my life, 
do with it what you want, a bit like what Joe uses, just if you can make something off this life, just do, do it. it. Yeah. Very, like within, I don't know, it was within about two days, so there was a healing service, then it was out in front praying for people, just seeing just the Lord. Tell, kind of tell, tell them what happened to you, because what happened was the Holy Spirit jumped on you when, you know, kind of like, Everyone, I was praying for people, all of a sudden God just jumped on you and just yeah, yeah. And feel called you out and say, stop praying for the sick. And all of a sudden, you started seeing miracles happen at the same time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it started off pretty slow as I was praying for people, just as, like, what, what my dream was. But then all of a sudden, like, I felt, I don't really operate in words of knowledge, but I, I felt words of knowledge just coming into my mind. I just heard the, the Lord's voice so clearly. Uh, I mean, I wasn't even praying for people. I was just laying hands on people and not saying a word. But then I heard the Lord say, no, it's finished. It's done. It's done. Just like what Jesus did on the cross, it is finished. It's paid in full. I mean, that happened once. My, my hands were like tingling and I was like, it's like this, is, this is good. This is good. Amen. Uh, but the best one was Mariska. Yeah, yeah, Mariska. So you were praying for her legs. Yeah. Um, and it's like, again, I just put my hands on her. Um, I, just let, I, just, I just let Timmy do all the work. I just let him do all the praying. Um, and so I just heard at that moment, um, she, she's a way to get up. She's a way to get up. And it's like, where did I, how would I possibly know that if it wasn't the Lord oh, speaking yeah. to me? Yeah. Amen. Within that 30 seconds or that minute, I, I, I knew she was a way to get up. So I was just crying strength, strength, strength. Within that time, she was up. Yeah, she took that first steps, and then she was dancing, and then she got... I think they don't understand what you're trying to say. She couldn't walk. She oh, could, she, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was what happened. She couldn't, yeah, yeah. She couldn't walk. And so she came in, it was it? She was somehow kind of crutches or something like that, whatever it was. Like a yeah. walker, I think, whatever yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. So she couldn't walk, and then we prayed for her, and she got up. Yes. She started jumping. Someone that couldn't walk started jumping, you know. Yeah. God totally, really, really radically touched her that night. And um, for us, for me, I think that's kind of like a snippet. Yeah, what we're going to yeah, see in Kenya. Definitely, definitely. Because one of the things I've realized is this, right? The, the secret to miracles and healings is very simple. It's so simple you hardly notice it. Mm -hmm. The Bible says God confirms his word. Yes, yes. He confirms his word with the signs following. And he said, mm -hmm. these signs shall follow them that believe. Yes. In my name Amen. they will cast out devils. Yes. They will speak in new tongues. They will take up serpents. If they drink any deadly thing, they shall not hurt them. Um, you know, they shall lay hands on the sick. Mm, yes. and they shall recover. They shall recover. So when yes. we go preaching the gospel, the good news about salvation, about healings, about miracles in the name yes. of Jesus, yeah. he has no choice. He has to confirm the word. <laughs> yes, because he said he'll confirm the word. The problem yes. happens when we go and preach our word. He yeah. cannot confirm yes. our word. Yeah. He yeah. only confirms yeah. his word. You know, so yep, that, that's definitely. what we're going to do. So we're going to go out to Kenya, we trust God, we're going to have a crusade. Amen. Amen. We're going to be having a, a leadership conference as well. Yep. Uh, we're going to be having a youth um, conference as well. And we're also going to be having a healing school. So we've got four major things we're going to be doing. So it's going to be really, really amazing. And uh, we're looking forward to what the Lord will do. So what are your expectations? So what do you think? What do you feel like? And what do you feel like God, God will do? Or what do you expect God to do? It's just, I, I, I just feel going to be a massive outpouring. Amen. I, I, I just, uh, I believe that I'm going to see everything that I've seen so far is going to be tiny in comparison. <laughs> it's just going to be just like boom. so, yeah, going to be boom. I, I reckon as soon as we kind of get off that plane, there's going to be, there's going to be a new anointing upon us as we, we it's like we're going into the, like new territory. New territory there to to take to take that land to, to take even more land for the Lord. And say, what greater way is there than demonstrate the kingdom power? Amen. It's like it's not um, preaching, yes, but what's a quicker way to do it? Just by miracle signs and wonders, Amen. instant come healing. Come on, come on. The Lord is in the business of just healing people. It's his, it's his love language. So it's like, yeah, you just want more and more, just a, a mighty outpouring. Amen. Just believing for that open heaven. It just, Hallelujah. all the time that we're there. Come on. Really. Right, so, anyway, just wanted to share this briefly with you. So we're kind of this last week towards, uh, heading towards the crusade. So we've been, we're just praying we're in, the, in, the, in, the, in the mode of prayer and just fellowshipping and just waiting on God and just kind of just in His presence and just trusting Him. 
uh, for what he's going to do because obviously prayer is a key fundamental part of outreach and evangelism, you know. So we're going to be spending most of this week praying and interceding for, for Kenya, for Nakuru, because we're going to be in Nakuru, Kenya, so it's going to be really awesome. Yeah. And um, we want to give an opportunity to everyone who wants to sow into revival or into mission, because the reality is this, and I, and I was sharing this with um, some folks on, on Thursday. You know, Jesus had, had, obviously Jesus was the Son of God, right? But he had support from people as well. He had some, the Bible talks about some women who actually ministered to him out of their substance. When he had a need to feed 5,000 people, all he had was a little boy's lunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the little boy gave Jesus his lunch. Now what, what was the little boy's lunch going to do for 5,000 people? Yes, right? yes. But a little boy's lunch in the hands of the Almighty God yeah. is a powerful weapon. Yes. So what was yeah. Moses' rod going to do in the midst of, like they were facing the Red Sea? Yeah, yeah. What's the rod going to happen? What's the rod going to do with that? But the rod of Moses in the hands of God is a powerful weapon. When Jesus had a need to preach the gospel at the Sea of Galilee, the Bible says he said to Peter, pull up, you know, a little bit from the shore. And he got into Peter's boat and the pull up of it so he could minister. You know, so you could, if you look at all through Jesus' ministry and obviously through the scriptures, you will see where men of God actually were supported in the work of the ministry. And it's actually, it's actually an opportunity for whoever supports that ministry. For example, when it was Elisha, I think, and the woman who had the, who was obviously her husband had died, mm -hmm. she was, um, the husband, yeah, yeah, the husband yeah. had left so much yeah. debt yeah. for them. Yeah. And obviously she came to the man of God and said, look, you know what, uh, Elijah's like, oh, you know, what do you have in your house? And she's like, oh, I've only got uh, a little cake, sorry, and, uh, and some oil or some flour. I'm yeah, going to make yeah. some cake and make yeah. some oil and I'm going to, you know, eat it and die. Yes. And the man of God was like, no, 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 yes. make some cake for me first. And I tell you by the word of God, you know, that oil shall not stop, yeah, the yeah. flour shall not cease until the, until the, yeah. uh, the famine is gone. And that's what happened. Never ending supply. Never ending supply. Yeah. So what happens is when we sow into the things of God, and this is kind of like, it's basically giving people an opportunity to sow into revival, sow into missions. Because like for me, for example, I sow into missions. I sow into CFAM. You know, if you want to see the same anointing or the same grace function in your life, you know, that you see in another ministry, the key, one of the very simple keys is support that ministry financially, prayerfully, whatever you, whatever you want to do to support that ministry. That grace, that anointing that functions through them begins to function in your life. And that's what I found in my own life as well. By supporting several ministries, we support a lot of ministries, several ministries, and we begin to see the grace on that, on that ministry begin to function and manifest in and through our lives as well. So we've got a need at the moment to as we, as we push towards the last week towards Kenya, we still got to raise, um, we still got a budget obviously, so we've got like 2,000 pounds to 2,000 pounds, not a lot of money for us, right? Mm. And God can do it in one sweep, yeah. yeah, right? Amen. It's not a lot of money. Just, you know, for example, let's say if, if 10 people, for example, you know, can give, 20, uh, you know, 200 pounds each, that's it, done. Or if 20 people give 100 pounds, that's it, done. If 50 people give, you know, 20 yeah. pounds each, that's yeah. it, done. You know, yeah. so it's not, it's not a lot of money yeah. in the grand scheme of things. Like, yeah. God's not going to go broke. Yeah, <laughs> I think you know what. Even <laughs> even just that small seed, you yeah. might think, hey, five pounds, ten pounds, it's a small seed. Yeah, it's not going to make a difference. It does make a difference. God, God sees your heart. In this, Amen. Without a doubt. So, Amen. So whatever whatever seeds you can you give, God will God will. Uh, I think for, one of the things I was saying to someone was like, for us, it's not about um, you know we've also sown into it, so we, you know we're sacrificing as well. But for me, the key is this, that it's an opportunity to partner with the gospel. And yes. that's the key. Because every soul that will be saved, yeah. every healing that will happen, I know healings are going to happen, miracles are going to happen. Yeah. Every healing, every miracle, every yeah. soul that will be saved, every life that will be touched by this outreach, every person that souls into it, is going to benefit from it as well. Yes, they're part of they're that. They're part of that work. Part of that, yeah. They're part yeah. of the work. Yeah. And it's, yeah. that's what we're giving people an it's opportunity it. to partner with the gospel. Yeah. yeah. To partner with outreach. Yeah. And the Bible says something in, in Proverbs says, He that wins souls mm. is wise. Yes. He yes. that wins souls is wise. It's yes. wisdom to yes. win souls. To partner, to sow into soul winning yes. is one of the wisest things you can do. Yes. You know, we cannot take our money to heaven. Yeah. We're going to leave it here. But what we can do, we can sow so into it, heaven. So by, this is how you do it. Yes. You can sow into eternity mm. by now giving into it, giving into the kingdom of God. So we've got a link on the top of this uh, pot, the, 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 the Facebook Live. If you want to sow into it, 
feel free, please give whatever you feel like the Lord is laying in your heart to give. We would love to honor you and bless you with it. I'm also going to be praying for you as well. And if you, want to, if you want to be a monthly partner with us, we also love you to do that as well. You have an opportunity, we click the button, it'll ask you if you want to be a monthly partner, a monthly donor. I, like, I partner, for example, with several ministries. I give like, you know, whatever I give every month, month after month, direct debit to those ministries. These are the keys, these are the things that we do that we see the grace of God upon our lives. It's not magic. It's simply biblical principles. Your, Paul says something in Philippians. He said, you are partakers with me in my grace because you entered into a partnership with him or with me through giving yes. and receiving. Yes. So when we partner with, with ministers, with ministries, yeah. we receive their grace and we receive the fruit that enters yeah. into their account yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, what, that's what you were kind of saying last yeah. week with that, that power of the partnership. Power of partnership, was, exactly. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah. Like a strong message. I thought that was really, really good. Good. Awesome. Well, well put as well. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, so I just want to just you know, bless you and pray for you as well. Um, and uh, just release the grace of God over your life and your family. Yes, if, you, if you need healing in your body right now, I want to mm. pray and release the healing virtue of God and trust God yes. uh, to heal you. So just wanna, let's just stretch out yes. our hands. So if, you, if you're sick in your body right now, whatever part of your body that needs to be healed, I just want to place your hand on that part of a body yes, that needs amen. healing. Mm. Uh, we believe that uh, by the Bible says, by, you know, by, your, by his stripes, you were healed. Mm. So we call upon that healing virtue. Yes. So right now, well, let me call my brother David. I think he's on now, so you can get him on. Hallelujah. Bless, blessed be God. There you go. David can join us. I think it's working. Yes. I think he's a little bit late. He's a little bit late, but we'll, we'll, we'll forgive him. Almost missed the point. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bless God. Bless God. Oh, bless that though. He's declining. Okay. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> he knows we're all right, but yeah, maybe got this. Okay. So, um, so, yeah. So, I just want to just, um, you know, trust God to... Hallelujah. So, Father, right now, we just want to release healing. Yes. Over every person that needs healing right now in yes. Jesus' name. Father, we release the healing virtue of God, the healing grace of God. Mm. I command all pain, all infirmity, yes. all sickness, all disease yes. to leave their bodies right now in Jesus' yes. name. We decree that by his stripes, you were healed. Yes. Be healed in your body right now. I command yes. all pain, all infirmity, yes. go right now in Jesus' name. I command all cancer that come in spirit of cancer to leave your body right now curse that infirmity of cancer in jesus mighty name thank you father for healing and, and deliverance right now lord in jesus name be healed and made whole in jesus mighty name amen so god bless you just want to release a prayer yeah from. just uh yeah just ask him just for fresh if you need the fresh touch on us from the holy spirit yes lord yes we, we we just say holy spirit come, come lord. Lord. there's no space in time you yes, just say, fresh touch, Holy Spirit, right now. We touch whoever is watching this right now. Deep impartation to them. We speak signs and wonders into them. We speak dream interpretation. We speak wisdom. We speak more revelation. Holy Spirit, will you come in force and just, just wreck them. Yes. Just wreck them. With that fullness of God just all over them. Come on. And we just pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So God bless you guys. Uh, it's good to have you so please click on the link if you want to donate to the kenya mission or you want to be a monthly partner with us because not just kenya we've got two other events happening as well in yeah. october november so we've got tom scalera he's a great man of god he's going to be here with us in aberdeen and in banff as well with the river church so we're looking forward to have him as well and also we're going to have it art thomas so these are great men of god we're yes. looking forward to have them as well so we're holding conferences over in october and november so you want to partner with us because we believe in revival, believe in healing, miracles, prophetic, and we're going, to, we're going for it, you know, yes. we're going for it. And I was sharing with someone the other day, I was like, you know, we're praying for revival, but I feel like the Lord is asking us, what are you doing to bring revival? What, are you, what is your contribution? What are you doing to usher in the presence of God? What are, what are you usher, doing to usher in the grace of God? You know, it's just like someone saying, oh, I believe in God for rain. Oh, I need some water. So God send rain, you know, so God said, okay, right, I'm going to send you the rain. But where's your bucket? Yes, yeah, yeah. You, you know, you <laughs> so you need to collect the rain. You know, he's, he's sending the rain. He's sending his, his spirit. But we need our bucket. So whatever your bucket looks like. So your bucket might be hold a revival meeting. Your bucket might be, you know, hold a prayer meeting. Or, you yeah. know, what? Or just go on the street. One on one evangelism. Whatever your yeah. bucket might be. But what are you doing for revival? What are you doing to release revival? Yeah. So we, we, one of the things God has said to us is to host conferences. And that's what we're doing in Jesus' name. Yeah. I think sometimes as well, just... 
it's just some of that small seeds. The Lord's been speaking to me a lot about that. It's just, uh, you know what, just being so natural in conversation, looking for ways to actually just boast about Jesus. Amen, come on. Just boast about Jesus. It can be the little things. It's like, I just look for these opportunities all the time. Amen. Um, just because there's a certain release when we release the name of Jesus Amen. every single time, it's like, it's like a power surge that comes into us. It's like, so we'll, we'll never run dry. But when we're giving that name of Jesus out, Jesus comes in and, and the Holy Spirit just empowers us even more. He sees that what we're doing is we're lifting the name of Jesus and glorifying in Him every way. Amen. So He just wants to come in come and on. He will give us even more. It's like carrying that fire. When you release that fire, even more fire comes in. Come on. More fire comes in. God bless you guys. God bless. Click on the button above to donate uh, to pay your mission. And uh, we, pray. we know that God will bless you in Jesus' name. God bless. Have a wonderful God weekend bless. wherever you are in Jesus' name. Take care, guys. Hallelujah. Bye.